two years ago, we were a team of destiny, becoming only the second team ever to win a Super Bowl at home. I mean, we were stacked. We traded for Matthew Stafford, signed Odell Beckham Jr., traded for Jalen Ramsey, signed Von Miller, and it landed us a Lombardi trophy. Now, fast forward two years later, the Los Angeles Rams find themselves in the beginning stages of a complete rebuild. During the offseason, we traded away star corner Jalen Ramsey for a third-round pick. Three of our stars, Matthew Stafford, Cooper Cup, Aaron Donald, are all recovering from injuries. This team has so many questions across the board. Now it's up to us to turn this struggling franchise around, but it won't be easy. What up, squad, and welcome to the LA Rams franchise on Madden 24. Now, as you heard in the backstory, this team was on top of the world just a couple years ago. Now, not so much. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the squad, take a look at the schedule for this year, and what you can expect out of this franchise. So let's start on the offensive side of the ball. The Rams are led by QB Matt Stafford in his 15th season out of Georgia. Uh, after last year, man, I didn't know if Stafford was going to come back. He still has a great arm, uh, very accurate when it comes to short throws. Deep accuracy took a dip this this year, um, but I'm a little concerned. Not going to lie to you. Uh, 14 years in, last year he got hurt. He's not, he's not the same QB he was a couple years ago. Uh, as you can see, last year he threw for 2,000 yards, 10 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. The year before that, I think this was the Super Bowl year, uh, almost 5,000 yards, 41 touchdowns, 17 interceptions. Um, you know, right now, the way the roster is kind of set up, we really don't have that QB of the future. We did draft Stetson Bennett the fourth out of Georgia in the fourth round. He could be the guy that steps in. Uh, I'm a little concerned, though. He's only 5'11", 190 pounds. Arm strength really isn't there. He doesn't have a strong arm. Not, you know, He's not going to wow you with the deep ball or his medium throw. Um, but in a, a Sean McVay offense, it could work with a short accuracy. Uh, but behind him, not too much. You got Brett uh, Rippon, uh, six year out of Boise State. And you got Dresser Wynn, a rookie from Tennessee Martin. In the backfield, Cam Akers is still here, 81 overall, 24 years of age, 90 speed, 94 acceleration, and that's really it. You got Zach Evans, a rookie from Ole Miss. You got Royce Freeman, the six-year back out of Oregon, and you got Kyron Williams, the second-year back out of Notre Dame. Now, this, this running back room has been a rotational type of situation for a few years now. There has not been one running back uh, that has just stepped up and taken the lead uh, in this group, Cam Akers comes in with star development last year, 786 yards, seven touchdowns. We're going to be expecting more out of him because we just don't have the weapons like we once did on offense. In the wide receiver room, we do have a stud in Cooper Cup, his sixth year out of Eastern Washington. Crazy part is he's already 30 years old, so he's still in his prime, uh, 6'2", 208, 91 speed, great acceleration. He catches everything, great catch in traffic. He's a short route monster, medium route monster. Uh, the deep route is solid. He's got great agility, too. Uh, we just inked him to a brand new deal as well. So he is going to be here for a while, uh, but we got to get him some help. As you can see, he's playing. He's going to be making almost $28 million this season, 26 moving forward for the next couple years, and then in 2026, 24 million. Um, I would love to get uh, another wide receiver to go along with Cooper. We got Van Jefferson here, 6'1", 200 pounds, 90 speed, 82 catching. Uh, Demarcus Robinson could be somebody who steps up, uh, eight, uh, 75 overall with 89 speed and 85 catching. Then we have Tyler Johnson, fourth-year wide receiver from Minnesota, 6'1", 206. Uh, he's got 88 speed with 83 catching. Uh, not too much speed in this room beside, beside Tutu Atwell, the third-year wide receiver from Louisville. Uh, he's got 93 speed, but he's only has 78 catching. Ben Skoronik, uh, this is a kid who plays all over the field, man. You can put him at tight end. You can put him at fullback. Uh, he came from Notre Dame. His third year out of Notre Dame. He's got 86 speed with 88 catching. Uh, so he's going to have his own package. I'm going to tell you that now. We're going to have Skoronik on the field in a lot of places. Uh, then after that, you know, not too much. Puka Nakua uh, from BYU. You've got Lance McCutcheon from Montana State. Austin Trammell, 
uh, Xavier Smith and Braxton uh, Bur- Burmeister? Burmeister from San Diego State. At tight end, eighth-year vet Tyler Higby is here, 6'6", 255 from Western Kentucky. Solid tight end, not going to wow you with this speed, only 79 speed, but he's got great hands, 87 catching, solid route running as well. Uh, he's got 85 catching traffic. If you look, he is a top 20 tight end as well, so he's going to be a great safety valve for Matthew Stafford uh, if the rush gets after him. But again, not a lot of depth behind him. You got Bryson Hopkins, fourth-year player from Purdue. You got Hunter Long, a third-year player from Boston College. Davis Allen, a rookie from Clemson. And then uh, Alex Ward, uh, I think this is the long snapper. Uh, He's a rookie from UCF. So, I mean, not a lot of speed. Not a lot of guys that can go out and make big plays for us. Uh, So, definitely going to have to be looking uh, in the future for a new tight end. I think the biggest concern for this team is on the offensive line. Uh, we're looking to fill a hole that was left by a true uh, leader at left tackle. Right now, Joseph Noteboom is our starting left tackle. Uh, he's got 76 pass block with 72 run block. He's a six-year vet from TCU. Behind him is A.J. Jackson, third-year player from Iowa. And you've got A.J. R. Curry, second-year player from Michigan State. So left tackle is definitely a spot we need to look to upgrade ASAP. At left guard is Steven Avila. A left guard from TCU, he's a rookie, comes in with 77 pass block, but only 71 run block. So we're going to make that a focus for him uh, to get that run block trait up. And then behind him is Tremaine Antrim, uh, junior, fourth-year player from Clemson. At center, we have Brian Allen, a six-year player from Michigan State, 73 overall. He comes in with 72 pass block and 79 run block. Uh, Behind him is Sean McGinn, a rookie from Wake Forest. Uh, At right guard, another concern, man. We've got a guy who's a 68 overall. This is Coleman Shelton, uh, 71 pass block, 70 run block. Behind him is Logan Bruss, second-year player from Wisconsin. He's a 66 overall. He's got 63 pass block and 72 run block. And then Zachary Thomas, a second-year player from San Diego State. He's a 65 overall with 66 pass block and 72 run block. So you guys already see what my concerns are. But the captain of this group is Rob Havenstein. Uh, He's a ninth-year player out of Wisconsin, comes in as an 83 overall, 81 pass block, 88 run block. He's going to have to lead this squad, man, because there is we are so young on the offensive line, and there's no experience but his. Uh, So he's going to have to lead this young group, and behind him is Warren McClendon, a rookie from Georgia. He comes in as a 65 overall. He's got 71 pass block and 68 run block. All right, to the defense side of the ball we go. And you already know, man, we have one star on the defense, and he is a legend, man. 99 overall, Aaron Donald, 6'1", 280. Hard to believe this is his 10th year out of Pittsburgh. Um, You know, he teased a little bit that he was going to retire. Uh, glad that we could get him back. He is still a problem. 99 power move, 96 finesse, 81 speed, 89 acceleration. Black shed is out of the world. Play wreck is out of this world. Strength is out of this world. Uh, he's just the best defensive player in the game, uh, arguably. Um, but around him, we don't have too much. At left end, we have Marquise Copeland, a fifth year player from Cincinnati, 6'2, 287. With 72 speed, he's got 68 power move and 55 finesse. And then we have Ernest Brown, the fourth from Northwestern, third-year player, 6'5", 270. He's a 64 overall with 64 power and a 58 finesse move. Like I mentioned, we've got Aaron Donald at right end. Kobe Turner is behind him, the true rookie from Wake Forest, uh, 68 overall. And you've got Laurel Merchinson, uh, fourth-year player from NC State. Up the middle, not too many hole pluggers. Uh, we got Bobby Brown, the third, 69 overall, third year out of Texas A&M. He's a big dude, man, 6'4", 324. Uh, he's got 86 strength, 69 power move, 74 block shed. Uh, you got Jonah Williams, uh, fourth-year player from Weber State, 6'5", 275. 79 speed at defensive tackle is not bad at all. I actually might think about kicking him to the outside with uh, the 68 power move and 71 block shed. And you got Deshaun Johnson, a rookie from Toledo, 62 overall uh, with 66 power move and 66 block shed. 
Now, the Rams do run a 3-4 defense, so that means we have the pass rushers on the outside at playing outside linebacker. Um, Byron Young is our rookie that we picked up in the draft. 92 speed from Tennessee, uh, 93 acceleration, great hit power, 81 hit power, 79 tackle. Uh, the only problem is he's not that great of a pass rusher with only 67 pass rush and 63 finesse move. He's got 66 block shed as well. Uh, I want to be able to utilize him all over the field. That 92 speed at linebacker is going to be killer. Uh, so look for him to play a lot of third down ba- uh, linebacker for us in that nickel spot. Behind him, you got Daniel Hardy, second year player from Montana State, 6'3", 240. Uh, great hit power, but again, not that great of a pass rusher. Uh, only 62 block shed. Uh, then you got Ochon Mathis, uh, a rookie from Nebraska, 6'4", 247. He's got 74 block shed, uh, 79 hit power. And then Zach Van Va- Van Valkenberg, mm, second year player from Iowa. He's a 59 overall with 73 speed. Up the middle, Ernest Jones is our starting middle linebacker, 75 overall, third year player from South Carolina last year. He finished with 100 tackles. He's got 88 tackle with 82 speed and 87 acceleration. Uh, then you got Christian Roseboom. Uh, from South Dakota State, fourth-year player. He's 6'2", 230, 83 speed with 80 tackle. Uh, Jake Hummel is a player that I'm very much interested in, 24 years of age, 6'1", 235 with 87 speed, 88 acceleration. He's got 76 tackle with 79 hit power. Then you got DeAndre Square, uh, a rookie from Kentucky, 6'1", 224, 61 overall. And Jaden Woodby, a rookie from Boston College, he's 6'1", 231. On the other side, we've got Michael Hocht, uh, a fourth-year player from Brown, 69 overall with 83 speed and 87 acceleration. But I'm more interested in Nick Hampton, a rookie from Appalachian State. He's got 86 speed, 92 acceleration, 78 tackle with 80 hit power. Only thing is he can't really get off a block, 65 block shed. Uh, This might be a position battle as we go into uh, the preseason. And then behind them is Kier Thomas from Florida State, second-year player with 77 speed and 74 tackling. I think the biggest hit this offseason was losing Jalen Ramsey to the Miami Dolphins. And now we have no true number one corner. Uh, Akello Witherspoon moves into that spot. He's 6'2", 195, seventh year from Colorado, 89 speed with 94 acceleration, 80 man, 75 zone with 72 press. He's probably going to be on the best receiver in the game uh, because I just don't trust Kobe Durant playing man coverage. He's 5'11", 180, great speed, 93 speed, 96 acceleration, but he's more of a zone cover corner with 76 zone and only 65 man. Uh, Behind them playing nickel will be Robert Rochelle, 6'2", 195 from Central Arkansas. It's his third year. Solid speed, 92 speed, 93 acceleration. Uh, but again, man coverage is not his forte. 64 man, 69 zone. We've got your Davius Hodges Tomlinson uh, from TCU. That last that last name might sound familiar because he's related to Ladanian. Uh, 69 overall with 92 speed, 98 acceleration. Uh, but the cover skills need some work. 66 man and 70 zone. And again, only 5'8". It's going to be tough for him to match up against those taller wide receivers. You got Darian. Kendrick from Georgia, second-year player, 68 overall. Uh, we've got Vincent Gray, a rookie from Michigan. And you've got Tyon, Tyon Davis, another rookie from Tulsa. And Tamarcus Davis, a rookie from Arizona State. So very young in the secondary. Again, I think that corner is definitely a position that we're going to have to look into uh, during the offseason because Witherspoon is the guy who has the most experience out of this group. In free agency this offseason, we pick back up John Johnson, the third, six foot, 209, seventh year out of Boston College, 27 years of age. Uh, kind of on the slower side, 85 speed, 83 zone coverage. He's got 65 tackle. Uh, I really do like that he can play a little man coverage too, 77 man, and he's got great hit power with 85 hit power. Uh, but again, the depth behind him really isn't there. You got Russ Yeast, second year player from Kansas State, Jason Taylor, the second. Uh, from Oklahoma State, six foot two oh eight. He's got eighty nine speed, ninety four acceleration, um, and sixty five man, sixty eight zone. He's got seventy two catching and sixty nine tackle. Uh, I think this is Jason Taylor's son, if I'm not mistaken. 
Uh, then you got Rashad Torrance, the second, a rookie from Florida. He comes in as a 65 overall. Richard LeConte, the third, third-year player from Georgia, as a 64 overall. And this is one of my favorite players because he came from one of my favorite schools, man. This is Jordan Fuller at Strong Safety. He went to the Ohio State fourth year, 6'2", 203, 25 years of age, uh, 87 speed, 76 zone with 72 tackle. Uh, solid acceleration. Hit power is not really there. He's got 73-man coverage. I think we could put Jordan on a tight end, and we have a solid matchup, man. I think he'd be able to match up very well against tight ends if we decide to go into man coverage. Uh, but again, this team isn't built for man coverage. They're built for more zone coverage. Uh, behind him, we've got Quentin Lake, second-year player from UCLA. He's a 66 overall. Then you got Quindell Johnson from Memphis, 64 overall with 88 speed and 91 acceleration with 63 zone. At kicker, we've got a rookie in Tanner Brown from Oklahoma State, 68 overall. He's got 92 kick power with 73 kick accuracy. And then at punter, another rookie. This is Ethan Evans from Wingate. Big dude, 6'4", 235 at punter. Strong leg, 94 kick power with 67 kick accuracy. So let's take a look at the schedule, man. We kick things off in the preseason as we host our I guess roommates, <laughs> the L.A. Chargers uh, in week one of the preseason. Then we welcome in the Las Vegas Raiders in week two. And then we head out on the road to take on the Broncos in week three of the preseason. Now, if you're new to the channel, how I handle preseasons, we'll play the first two and sim the third preseason game. And then we'll make our cuts after that. So we kick off the regular season against a division foe, man, on the road against the Seahawks. Then we're home for the 49ers. We've got a Monday night matchup on the road in Cincinnati versus Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. Back out on the road to take on the Colts. In week five, we take on the NFC champs, the Philadelphia Eagles at home. And we start a three-game homestand after that, man. We've got the Cardinals and Steelers after the Eagles. Back out on the road for two games, taking on the Cowboys and Packers. And we finally get our bye week in week 10. We come back from the bye week, taking on the Seahawks, finishing up our home and home with them out on the road to take on the Cardinals in week 12. Home for another game, taking on the Browns. Then we head out to Baltimore to take on the Lamar Jackson Ravens. Then our final two home games of the season are week 15 and 16 when we take on the Commanders and the Saints. And then back out on the road to take on the Giants and wrap things up on the road in San Francisco to take on the Niners. So this is a pretty tough schedule. Um, a few playoff teams, a couple teams that are rebuilding like we are. So like the Colts, um, you got the Cardinals, um, the Packers, the Browns are going to be a really good team. The Ravens are going to be a good team. The Commanders might be one of those teams where we can get the W. Um but it's going to be a tough grind for our Rams this year. So let me show you guys the slider set so far, man. We are playing on all Madden simulation with 13-minute quarters. Um, this year, I'm not going to do the play cooldown, uh, but we are doing everything manual as far as off-season trades, signings. Um, the only thing that we're going to do is that we're not going to do is manage practice reps, but we're going to manually have the reorder depth chart. We're going to progress our players, all that good stuff. We are doing a 53-man roster. Um, what else do we have in here? We're going to start things off with the X-Factors on, okay? Now, if they become a little bit too OP, uh, then we'll turn them off. But as of right now, they'll be on. And again, we're playing with a 53-man roster. Sliders, I haven't found a slider set yet. The game has only been out for a couple days. Uh, but I will be searching for that before we start hopping into games uh, week one. So let's take a look at the cap space right now. As you can see, $26 million in cap room. Uh, we've got a lot locked into our top players. I'll be honest with you. Um, you know, Cup is making 27 mil. You got Aaron Donald making 26. Stafford's making 20. And then Havistine is making nine. Uh, Higby is making nine million. So uh, Higby will be actually coming off the books at the end of this season. He's going to be a free agent, uh, which should help us out a lot. I think Stafford might retire after this year, so that's going to free up a lot of money because he's due 49 and a half mil in 2024 and then 50 mil in 25. Um, and then you got Cooper Cup, I think he's going to be here for a while. And then you've got Aaron Donald, who goes from 26 mil up to 34 mil in his last year. So 
a lot of money locked into like four players. Uh, and I'm hoping that at least two of them decide to hang it up so we don't have to pay them. So that's going to do it for the team breakdown, man. Just a couple house cleanup rules I want to talk about, man. Um, this is going to be a lot different than any other franchise that I've done in the past. Um, I do have a Northwestern dynasty that's going on right now. And a lot of those players that you're going to be seeing there are going to be in this franchise. Okay. So we're going to be transferring players over. Um, I will try to be going in depth with a lot more storylines. Uh, I will be controlling every team. Okay. Uh, so we're going to be making wills and deals. We're going to be having trades. A lot of storylines are going to be incorporated into this Rams franchise. Now, uh, the one thing that I didn't like about the Texans franchise is that we got so good and the rest of the league got not that much better. So I'm going to try to keep it like on an even playing field. Uh, there's going to be disgruntled players. There's going to be, you know, trade deadline moves. There's going to be picks made. Uh, I'm not going to do free agent signing, but if a team does go out and sign like three quarterbacks and they don't need three quarterbacks, I'll jump in and make some changes that way. Uh, if they draft a quarterback after they've already drafted a first round quarterback, then I'll make some changes that way, that kind of stuff. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm excited for Madden 24. I'm excited for this Rams franchise. The next video that you will see will be the preseason. And like I mentioned, we play the first two games, we send the third, and then we make our roster cutdowns after that. So get ready, man. Strap in. This is going to be a fun season. I hope you guys are excited for it as much as I am. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're brand new. Don't forget to ring that bell. Join the Noti Squad. And check out all those links down in my description. Follow your boy on Facebook, Twitter, and IG. And come through and join the Discord, fam. And we'll talk from preseason as we kick off this LA Rams franchise. Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace. Big shout out to all the members that support this channel. If you would like to become a member, check out the link down below.